Welcome everybody to another Violent But True Bedtime Stories with me, the First Sergeant. I thought I'd bring out the old meat wagon for this particular story, and this one goes out to all the female veterans of the Global War on Terror who got some, and in the get some department, Lee Ann Hester has a special place in history as the first female to be decorated for valor since the Vietnam War. Now, Hester is alive and well, so we'll tone down all the dick jokes on this episode, except for the fact that Lee Ann Hester didn't have a dong as far as we're tracking during the events I'm about to describe, but she showed cojones worthy of the girthiest hogs. <laughs> Jesus, I don't know if we can say that. <laughs> Shout out to all my MP homies. This one's for you. If you did more shit like this, and less crashing of barracks parties, you stop being called pogues by all the other kids on the playground. <laughs> so let's dig in. On 20 March 2005, a convoy of about 30 civilian supply trucks was driving through the Iraqi countryside, when all of a sudden, they were ambushed by a metric fuck ton of insurgents. The supply train consisted of mostly unarmored 18-wheelers, driven by Iraqi and Turkish teamsters. Instantly, they found themselves under a steady hail of machine gun fire and small arms from a row of wadis just off the side of the road. Naturally, they were pretty pissed off about the state of affairs. One of the two American Humvees escorting the convoy was knocked out almost immediately by RPG fire. The second vehicle pulled up and tried to mount a defense, but all three soldiers were wounded by fire from concealed enemy positions. With the American soldiers sufficiently suppressed, a group of about 30 fighters advanced on foot towards the convoy, pulling out handcuffs so they could capture the wounded troops and bring them back, possibly so they can have a starring role in one of those fucked up beheading videos jihadis love jerking off to. They're high-fiving each other and thinking of all the hot goat snatch waiting for them when they're all... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> When all of a sudden, they start finding out firsthand what it's like to be on the receiving end of the giant green weenie, lovingly inserted in their hot bowels via Ma Deuce's lovely little children. Out of nowhere, three Humvees come flying into the scene, guns blazing. Several insurgents got turned into pink mist, or Afghan confetti for all you OEF folks. And their homies rush back to cover while trying to react to the Americans' counterattack. They managed to hit the middle of the three Humvees with an RPG round, but that only succeeded in making the Americans really, really, really pissed off. Sergeants Leon Hester and Timothy Nine realized that they need to get in there and start cracking skulls if their soldiers are going to make it out of this one alive. They grab their rifles and a handful of grenades, bail out of their Humvee, and sprint towards the nearest enemy position. Sergeant Hester got to take out some of her pent-up aggression at the dipshit insurgents as she cleared out the ditches, capping dudes as she went. When she ran out of ammunition, she sprinted back to her Humvee, grabbed some extra mags, and ran back into the battle. She even smoked out an RPG toting Iraqi with her M203 automatic grenade launcher, Scarface style. I even assume she had some witty one-liner like, DIE SPUNK JUNKIES! Boom. Followed by a hearty fuck you. As an added bonus, Two jihadis getting clapped by a female in battle is about as desirable as an eating pork sandwich while getting gang banged by, by Israeli truckers. <laughs> well, we're all going to hell. <laughs> Sergeant Hester's prowess on the battlefield made it hard to talk shit about MPs for about six months but that's over. <laughs> Remember kids, sleep tight and stack bodies. I'm out of here. <laughs>